Okay guys, I'm going to explain to you how to upgrade your Azeron software, your firmware, and stop using the Xbox 360 emulator software where you won't have to have any extra programs running while you're gaming. So the first thing you want to do, you want to do this for sure because I'm very fortunate I did it before I did the upgrade. You want to go into your settings. You want to take a picture of this, whether it's with your iPhone or the snipping tool that's built into Windows. You want to take a picture of this, whether it's with your iPhone or your Android or your snipping tool. You want to have these two things for sure. I'm telling you, it'll save you a lot of a lot of issues. Do I want uninstall? So I know the emulator. I think I have it not running right now. So I'm gonna uninstall. Azeron software. Get rid of that. Then I'm going to go to Azeron.eu. Downloads. I'm going to download both the firmware and the uh software then I'm going to flash the, the Azeron so I think that that will hopefully I'll extract the programs I'm gonna extract the armor I'm gonna extract this one go ahead and install the software wait oops we gotta run anyway That's bright. Holy crap. Oh, device firmware. Okay, I need to get the, the firmware up to version 47. Okay. So next, we're going to flash the Azeron with the updated hex file for the firmware. So we'll open Teensy. We'll select the firmware. We're going to use the .hex. We're not going to use the Zim, right? HEX. Um, go ahead and put the Azeron in a mode where you can flash it and there's a little spot right there you can press in and hit a button and you can hear it'll make noise and it'll flash and you can release that then you notice that it changes on the on the screen here so you program it download complete reboot okay and then now you can unplug your Azeron now my Azeron's plugged back in. Let's go back to the about. It updated the firmware. It updated the everything else. Now it should I'll go to my joystick here. Ooh, it's way off. So, um, yeah, completely changed. So I need to change my upper and lower dead zones to what they were before. Okay, so again, I'm back inside my software. I ran into a big issue, which is why at the beginning of the video I told you to take pictures. None of my stuff uh, came over. So I went to about and I went to import profiles because I exported in the beginning. That didn't work either. So fortunately, you guys took pictures of your settings. So it's very simple. You go in, you put your settings back in. Every You rebind everything, right? The only difference is here, you're gonna do Xbox 360 analog stick. And then these are just my settings, what I like. Down and about, you're gonna recalibrate your analog stick. I always do it three times. I always do it three times. And if the numbers are all kind of correlating, I just go with the third one. It doesn't matter to me. It, I haven't noticed a difference from that. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up Fortnite and cut to that and show you guys that it does work. Okay, let's see if it works. And it does seem to be working uh, pretty good. Everything seems to be pretty smooth with it. Okay, you also want to go into your settings. You wanna to go to the screen. You wanna make sure this is on, this is off. And for me, everything seems to be working pretty good. Everything feels pretty smooth. Other than my 90s feel bad because I just got on. Okay, that pretty much ends it. Uh, we upgraded our software. We upgraded our firmware. We got rid of our Xbox 360 uh, emulator. You guys can uninstall that now. If you guys like these videos, you guys like me giving updates, go ahead and follow my socials down below. I stream on Facebook.